News Leader. For the first time, Topeka will conduct a summer point in time count. They hope to gain some added insight into just how many people are homeless and or unsheltered. Christy Hobbs is with Vallejo. Matt Baldwin is with Breakthrough House. A couple of the organizations that are involved in this welcome to both of you. And I think the big question, Christy, is why do this second count in the summer? We just got the winter numbers that from the count in January. Why summer? So um, homelessness is a big issue in Topeka right now. So I think the city and Vallejo, TRM, kind of want to get a better idea and understanding of what the numbers look like. And it'll be more realistic so that we can have an idea of what it looks like in the winter as well as what it looks like in the summer. What are some of the differences, Matt, that you might anticipate seeing summer versus winter when you try to get a handle on just how many people are homeless or unsheltered? That's hard to say, and mm -hmm. that's a big part of why we're doing it is because there are a lot of questions. I anticipate it being a little higher, honestly, because in the winter, you're more likely people take pity and allow someone to come inside and sleep on their couch, where in the summer, they're more likely to be outside on their own independent. So that's kind of what we're anticipating. What, Christy, did we find in the January count? So we counted 537 individuals that are experiencing homelessness, um, which is a a very large number um, and it has increased. It was over about 125 more than mm -hmm. last year. Yes, and that number continues to increase as we get um, through the year. And then how do we use that number and why is that number so important? Well, it's our justification for grants, developing programs, um, you know, just showing why there's a need for more support in the organizations in town. What are some of the challenges you all encounter in addressing homelessness? I mean, we've been asking the candidates as they come in. We ask our city leaders as they come in and county leaders as they come in. What You are all boots on the ground. What are the challenges that are happening? Um, you know, there's always the mental health aspect, substance abuse. And a lot of the times we come across as, you know, are they ready? Are they wanting services? Are they wanting help from us? And a lot of the times when they say, you know, Chrissy, I'm ready, we jump on it right then. We get them an intake, we get them into the mission, whatever services they're wanting at that time. But there's the challenge of those who maybe aren't ready, Matt. So what do you do to support those people? Well, you know, as Barry Feeker always says, uh, recovery happens at the speed of trust. And so the ones that aren't ready, it's our job to keep building that trust, building that rapport, so that way when they're ready to take those action steps, that it's a much smoother transition and we can get to work right away. I was asking you, Christy, is Topeka the only community doing this summer count? or Because the January count is part of a larger effort nationwide. <laughs> What's unique about this summer count? So uh, this is the first one ever, and I believe that it is the only, we are the only city in Kansas that are completing a summer count. If you feel, have ever people been in touch with you and are ready or interested in what you learn so that maybe they figure out if they need to do something more too? I'm, I'm guessing that they're gonna wait for our numbers and see what comes of it. I understand that you all have all the volunteers that you need. What else do you need the community to do to support this effort, Matt? I, some donations and things? Absolutely. Water, 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 water. Oh, it's going to be <laughs> hot when, yeah. Uh, ice, uh, cooling rags, just anything that you would need to help m regulate your temperature when you're outdoors. So that's for the volunteers. Are there things that you try to do as you do this count to outreach to the people that you're trying to reach and help and find too? What do you deliver to them? Well, hopefully it's hope. Right, number and one. And showing that they matter and that they're valuable and that they're worth the effort and being out in the hot sun to talk to them. Absolutely. So the things that you need, give me kind of a list. We'll put it up on the screen as well. What kind of things would you like people to donate besides the bottled water? Sunscreen is always good. Yes. Bug spray. Um, bottled snacks. Water. <laughs> snacks. <laughs> Baby wipes are important as you're out there sweating. You might oh, need yeah. something yes. to, to yes, clean definitely. your hands and face. Uh, you can deliver them all to the Vallejo location that is at 2401 Southwest 6th Street. So how will the count work that day? So we have eight teams that are um, going to be loaded up into trucks or UTVs and we'll be going out over basically the whole city of Topeka um, ranging from the State Lake up north down to Forbes Field down south 
and we'll just try and search for everybody that we can. Well, we will be in touch that day as well to try and follow the progress and bring numbers, and it'll be interesting to see what you find and see if the picture of homelessness changes depending on the season. Christy and Matt, thank you for filling us in, and thank, thank you for you. caring. We appreciate all that the nonprofits do to play a role in helping everyone in our community. We love what we do. You do. I know that. Well, we are seeing the